Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna be making an auto clicker app. Uh, it's gonna be an executable file so you can uh, download it on other computers or send it to your friends or whatever you want to do with it. So uh, for example, right now I'm gonna put no delay, start bot, and then it's just gonna start auto clicking uh, as fast as it can. And then when I press the key to stop it, it stops. And then I can put a delay, so let's just put two seconds. And then wait, and then it's gonna click, and then one, two, click, one, two, click, and then I press the key to stop it, and uh, it stops, and uh, yeah, so uh, that's it, and uh, let's get right into uh, the coding. Hey guys, so uh, welcome to the actual tutorial part of this video. So we're going to be making an auto click bot like uh, I showed you in the beginning of the video with um, an actual desktop app and an executable file. I'll probably make this into two parts, the coding part and then the part of uh, turning the file into an executable and changing the icon and like all the extras basically. So first thing you want to do is just imports so uh, let's import time by auto gui and keyboard and threading so you want to import all these don't worry if you see red lines or anything and then from take enter sorry take enter import and then star so, so if you see these red lines what you want to do is uh, I'm using uh, uh, PyCharm by the way, I mean it's the best one for Python. You want to go to the terminal and you want to type pip install uh, pyauto gui. So time should already be installed and threading. So you should only have to install these two. So there we go, I installed pyauto gui and now it pops up. And then you can also do pip install keyboard. And uh, yeah, then just wait. And uh, there we go, you should be all good. And yeah, so after we're all good, now you can just type CLS to clear. So next thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna type window TK, uh, window equals TK. And this is gonna like start, uh, the window right like uh, the window pop-up and then at the end of the code you want to type window loop and then parentheses so basically this creates like a basic window uh, but yeah before we do that let's just make like a simple label actually let's do the title first so window dot title and then you put parentheses and then a string so we'll do auto clicker there we go oh i misspelled auto my bad up here uh it's a u t o so yeah my bad i misspelled that uh and then next okay so now we want to create a label so like the thing the words we'll see on the app so label equals uh label and then window, which is the name of our window. And then the text, which uh, we'll just do it uh, uh, auto clicker app. Okay, there we go. And then uh, next thing you want to add is um, that's it. And then you want to actually position it. So you do label.grid column equals one and then row equals zero oh shit sorry column equals one row equals zero so basically column is <clears throat> is the top like first column second column like second column is going to be to the right of first column and rows is from top to bottom so row one is going to be below row zero so i don't know if i explained well but 
yeah, it's just columns and rows basically. And then pad X, this is just some padding because just to make it look pretty good. And then I'll do 75, 10. Okay, so now, um, oh, I forgot to add an equal sign, my bad. So now if uh, you just click on the run over here, should get an app, simple little app, can't really move it around because it's not big enough. Uh, that says auto clicker app because of the label and down here it should say auto clicker. So, yeah. so now let's actually make the window uh, big enough because uh, it's really small. So let's do window dot geometry and then you want to do uh, parentheses and then you want to enter the X and Y. So X, let's do 250 by 100. So it's going to be 100 pixels high, 250 pixels width. And now if we run it, there we go. Now we have a little bigger app, auto clicker app. This is in the middle. Okay, great. So next thing we're going to do is add uh, a text entry. So do text is equal to entry. And then window width is equals to 10. Uh, by the way, all these width and like pad X and like rows, columns, you can change these to your parentheses, like to whatever you prefer. It doesn't really matter. It's just like what I think looks good. So yeah, text.grid and then put parentheses column is equal to one. So we're gonna put, put it on the same column as uh, the label but then we're gonna put it in uh, the row below the label so it's gonna be below the label but at the same uh placement if you know what i mean like on the x it's gonna be the same and on the y it's not gonna be the same and then we're gonna do pad x and actually we can just copy this from here pad x is equal to 75 10. okay so now if we run this we have auto clicker app, we have a text entry, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and last thing we gotta do is add a button. So button is equal to button window. Uh, text is equal to start bot. Uh, command is gonna be equal. So that's gonna be like the function we make. I'll just do clicks, click start. And then BJ is equal to green, so that's the background color. And then the foreground color, so the text of the button, you're gonna do light green. Okay? And then we can just basically copy this, put it here, change this to button, change the row to two, and also, uh, okay, yeah, so now let's make this click start function. So I like to put it all the way at the top, below the title. So let's just do function, sorry, functions, boom. And then we're gonna do um, this, clicked start. And then for now, we're just gonna make it like console log something. So print uh, button clicked. Okay, there we go. Uh, everything should work fine. Uh, okay, so now if we click on the button, it says button clicked. There we go. So that works. Uh, also, I'm just going to add, this is just uh, for my pre preference, I'm going to add some padding on the y-axis just because it's really stuck to the text right now and I don't like it. Oh, 15, 10. Okay, this should look better now. There we go. Now there's a little bit of spacing and I just think it looks better. Okay, so now the next step is uh, we have to make the functions actually do something. So here, let's uh, do time.sleep3. Just so when you click the button, it gives you three seconds to go to the app or game and doesn't automatically just start clicking. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna define some variables. So run, so run is equal to true. Uh, an interval 
int is equal to none. So I'll explain what these do later. Uh, but yeah, just define them right here, and uh, we should be fine. Oh yeah, also uh, define. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Put uh, never mind. Okay, so uh, what what the next thing you want to do? You want to do try and then accept, and then in the try function, you want to put interval int is equal to int, and then text dot get so what this does is it's gonna try to turn the text that the user put in this field oh wait i can't run it right now but in the text field the user is gonna put a number or like whatever they put it's gonna try to turn it into an integer so if they put letters it's not gonna work or if they put like a weird number just if they don't put an integer it's not gonna work and then it's gonna run this and here all we're gonna do is pass because we don't actually need to run anything uh, because we already said that interval int is equal to none so if this doesn't run this is just gonna be true so it's basically not gonna have a value okay next thing we want to do is um, oh yeah so this start is equal to time dot time so we're just defining this because we're gonna have to make a timer for like the interval if they choose to click every two seconds and everything so this is just like the start of the function like when the function started basically this gives you a time in seconds and then we'll be able to compare that to the current time and see if it's been two seconds so yeah so then we do while run is equal to true oh sorry is to true so while this is equal to true so at the beginning obviously it's going to be equal to true then we want to run the function so if keyboard dot is pressed so this is uh basically uh, if a key is pressed i'll just do zero because it's on my keypad so it's easier but you can choose any number or key uh, you can even maybe choose some like f7 f8 stuff like that and then what you want to do so this is going to be the key to like stop the clicking so choose the key you want to use to stop the clicking and then run is equal to false and br break so what it's going to do it's going to set this to false and it's going to break so then it's going to go back here run this and it's going to be like oh wait it's not equal to true and it's going to exit the function and it's gonna stop clicking you could even i might do this in another episode you can add uh, a field on the application where they put the letter they want to stop it so it's fully customizable but we're not gonna do that right now so if interval int is not equal to none so basically if the interval integer so it's the text that they entered for the delay um, if it's not equal to uh, uh, integer, uh, I mean, if it's not equal to nothing, so it's equal to a valid number and it's not a word or letter or whatever, then it's gonna run this if time dot time. So this is the current time right now in seconds is bigger or equal to the start, right? Which is what we designed over here plus the interval so basically if our current time is bigger than or equal to the start so when we start so imagine we start at zero right and our current time is five and the interval is three so we do start plus three so this is three and then our current time is five so this would come back as true but if our current time is 5 and the interval is 10, then this would be 10 and this is 5 and this would just be false and not work. So basically it's just to make sure that it runs after the time has passed and not before. So if this is true, then what you want to do is click. So pyautogui.click and then start is equal to time. Oh, sorry. Time dot time. So you reset the timer just so it doesn't always stay on the first time and then else if there's no interval 
no nothing and just click so this is basically all you need um, you have the functions you have the label the text the button the window geometry uh, we could add uh, icons uh, okay I'll just show you how to, how to do it so what you want to do is you want to do photo photo is sorry photo is equal to photo image and then file so it has to be a file in the directory that you're in right now or you can just change the path uh, and mine is app icon.png so you take this file and then you do window dot icon photo and then you do false and photo so i'll just change this to icon just to be clear but yeah so that's how you change the icon and uh yeah this is oh yeah actually let's change this to interval wait no click delay there we go so now you just click up here run the app so there you go you have click delay start bot okay so uh let me just pull up the ga this game so this is just like a game on google i found so if we do start bot and no number no nothing it's just gonna start spamming it and then i click the key to stop it which is zero for me it stops and then if we put a delay so let's say three seconds start bot it's gonna wait the three seconds we put and then it's gonna click and then one two three click one two three click so yeah all works and then i click the key to stop and it stops so everything works fine uh and uh yeah so thanks for watching uh, i hope this was helpful for whatever you're gonna use this for and i'll probably do an episode on how to turn python apps like this into an actual executable so you can see down here i have the executable i just double click it and i have it no terminal nothing and uh yeah so uh that's great and uh see you guys next time hope you enjoyed the episode and just uh like and subscribe and tell me in the comments if uh, you have any feedback see you